Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, and we are back in an offline map, just like all my videos should be. And as you can see by the title of this video, we're talking about the most underrated CSGO setting that I think everybody should try to change, or at least align more like I have it set to. And are we talking about our sensitivity? No. No, no. Are we talking about our crosshair? No, of course not. Are we talking about a resolution? No. Those are all rated properly. But the most underrated aspect of Counter-Strike settings is your radar scale. Okay. I believe that your radar scale should be pretty fucking zoomed out and your radar should be pretty big. Okay. As an IGL, uh, you constantly have to look around the map uh, and you constantly have to figure out where your teammates are. And if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Now, I'm not saying micromanage them to a point where, you know, you're telling them exactly what to do in the round because you should technically be practicing that kind of stuff offline and then going into the server and doing it. But, you know, if if you call a strat that maybe you haven't worked on that much and you see a guy is running the wrong way, you go, hey, what are you doing? Or maybe one of your teammates isn't as vocal as the other ones. This happens all the time where somebody's coming up on a flank and they have not said a damn word about them coming up on a flank. And then you see on radar that they're coming up on a flank. So you got to say, hey guys, you know, blue's coming up behind them. Don't peek, don't peek. Just wait a second, right? So making calls like that always helps your team and you can't do it if your radar is zoomed in. So let's do an example of a radar being zoomed in. So let's do uh, CL underscore radar scale. There we are. And it's default to one, I think. Maybe maybe it's a little less than that, but this is, this is super zoomed in. And while this is great for navigating through a smoke, for example, for example, there's a smoke, let's say middle con right here, and you want to try to get up to this corner, right? You can just look at your radar and easily get up here. It's no problem, right? You're not bumping into anything. Um, also, back in the day, as smokes were fading, you used to be able to see the enemy pop up on radar before they would pop up on your screen. They fixed that, uh, at least they fixed it a little, so it's no longer as rampant as it used to be. But besides that, there's no real point to have your radar this zoomed in. You can't see around the map, um, and, and yeah, you could say, well, I can see things more accurately, you know, it's a little bit more precise, but that doesn't really matter because it's, while it is more precise, having it zoomed out isn't like super not precise. So I play around 0.4 um, and I can still see everything fine. It might be a little bit difficult for you guys to see if you're on mobile, but I can see everything fine. I can, I can make the calls of where they are pretty accurately. Um, and so while, yes, I am IGLing most times, so I do need a radar scale this big, I think that everybody should have a radar scale this big because it helps you keep track of what's going on. If your teammate's peeking something, you know, hey, maybe your teammate in this strat or, or just in this pug, every single time um, in apps, right, he's, he's watched underpass for a second and then he started to push up apps and, you know, he's, he's always like right about here. In this area so one round you think okay maybe uh, maybe I can go up cat right and then you notice hey he's not in apps right he's actually run all the way back or he went through underpass right and I don't have a teammate supporting me in apps anymore you notice that because of your radar and while that is a really poor example <laughs> because technically speaking you can see both of the positions uh, that I just used in the example with a really bad radar scale um, you know, it's, you get the point, you get the point. Um, what really helps is on CT side, um, using the big radar scale, right? Because you can see where your teammates are, you can see who's pushing what, you can see who has what control, right? If you have a radar like this, and you're playing mid, right? And you're opping here, um, and then let's say you get smoked off window, right? And then you're gonna go pick up Palace, right, and you're just holding this, you're just holding this, you have no idea if you have a teammate pushed in palace, you have to ask, but if your radar scales like this, you go, oh, wait, I have a teammate in palace, there's literally no reason for me to be holding that, um, it also allows you, not only just gives you more information, which I don't understand, all right, it's, this is going to be a little hypocritical, all right, this is going to be just a smidge hypocritical, but why would you why would you try to limit the information that you're getting, right? If you can just get more information, 
why not go for that? Now, now this is hypocritical because I play on 4.3, uh, and and I don't have as large of a POV or a, sorry FOV uh, field of view as somebody who plays on 16.9. So yes, I am limiting some of the information that I get, um, but to be fair, I cannot play on 16.9. I just can't do it. Um, so that's that's my rant about that for the most part, but. Another key point is that it really helps you, especially on CT side, like I said before, it helps you make sure that you're positioned properly, right? You can tell, you know, if you'll have a quick rotate or what gaps are open, um, the amount of times where it's maybe like a three versus three or something, and I'm holding mid or, you know, I'm whatever, right? And I say, oh, your cat is completely open. Like they can walk up cat. Let's say that I'm right here holding palace. We got a guy ticket. Right, and then we have a guy <clears throat> soloing on B site, whether he's like sitting, you know, bench or something, whatever. But I can quickly glance at radar and say, hey, uh, they can come up your cat, watch out, or you know what, hey, they can even come up con. So in that situation, I can look at where my teammates are positioned and say, hey, me holding palace right here isn't actually doing any good. So I have a teammate sitting CT, so I should be positioning myself right about here, right? I can't get shot from palace. Um, and if they come out ramp, my teammate will see them. So from this angle, I can see if they run up cat, and I can see if they're con. I don't need to call anything to my teammates and say, hey, are you holding this? Can, can you actually see cat right now? No, I can just look at my radar, figure out where they are, and then position myself properly to play off of my teammates. Um, I think that's the biggest use of the radar is just positioning yourself around your teammates in the most advantageous way possible. So I think that's all I have for today. Ooh, no, it's not. I have one more, one more uh, uh, command for you guys. HUD, uh, no, it's, 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 hold on, I used it. Yeah, CL underscore HUD underscore radar underscore scale. All these this, uh, things will be in the description. But if, if let's say you're really used to it being zoomed in and you don't like playing on your radar like this small and it being this zoomed out, it's a bit hard for you to see. With this command, you can just enlarge your radar without having to enlarge your uh, HUD at all. Also, one more thing that I like to do sometimes, I used to really like playing like this. Um, I don't as much anymore. Um, but if we go to, all right, it took me a second to find it. But the HUD edge positions under the video, right? You can change the horizontal HUD positions so everything is brought in a bit more. Now, with a radar size this big, I don't really recommend this, but it's it's doable. Like if you wanted to play on a smaller radar, um, like this, it's not that bad. I used to play like this a lot, but now, you know, I, I just prefer this a little bit more. Uh, it feels like everything's spread out properly. I don't feel like I'm really losing any information. It did take a little bit to get used to glancing down at the corners properly, um, but it's not that bad. So those are three commands that I think are completely underrated and you would be surprised the amount of people that play on a zoomed in radar and they're just limiting the information that they get right? Especially if you see an enemy blip pop up on a radar, right? You immediately know where they are. You don't have to wait for the call out. Uh, you can just see where they are. So I think that's all I have for you guys actually this time. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day. If you want your demo reviewed, please become a channel member. I will review one demo of yours per month, every month that you're subscribed. So yeah, check that out. Hit the join button on my channel page and yeah, have a nice day.